Okay, y'all. So, to get started creating this album, what you're going to need, you're going to need one piece, and this is medium weight chipboard that I'm using. Okay, you need one piece that is two and a half by seven. Then you're going to need two pieces that are five by seven. Okay? All right, so we have two five by seven and one two and a half by seven medium weight chipboard. All right, now what you're going to need are two pieces that are seven and three quarters by eight and a half. Okay, you're going to need two of those. Your seven and three quarters is going to be at the top and your eight and a half is going to be at the sides. All right, so we're going to take it and I've already added score tape um, to one piece of mine. So just one piece has score tape on it. Now, I'm going to take my scoreboard, and I'm only using my scoreboard just to line up my papers. Alright, so I'm just going to peel the backing off, and I'm going to place this at the six and a quarter. Alright, that way I know this piece here needs to go to the six. Okay, so all I'm doing, I'm butting it up against the top here. Alright, and I have it at the six and a quarter. I'm going to butt this one up at the top, and I'm going to go to the six. All right, when you have it where you want it, drop it. Press it down, take your bone folder, and burnish, okay? And what that does is it gives you pretty much a straight edge here at the top. All right, so now I'm gonna take my chipboard. I'm gonna add my two and a half by seven piece here in the middle. So I have my seam here, and then I'm just gonna place this right in the middle. And then I'm gonna take my two five by seven pieces and place them here on the side. All right, I'm gonna leave about a quarter of an inch spacing in between here. That way it'll fold up easily. All right, so I'm gonna glue that down and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have my chipboard adhered to my cardstock, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my little stylus here and I'm gonna go around the edge all the way around the outside of my chipboard. And what this is going to do is it's just going to help the cardstock fold over the chipboard. So I'm just going all the way around. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold up my sides here. Okay. And I'm going to do that on all four sides. I'm just going to stand it up here. Okay. And now what I'm doing is I'm just going to fold this over the, the chipboard. Folding my cardstock over the chipboard. Okay, then I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Okay, so now I'm going to open it back up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these little squares off of the edges here. Okay, so I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm using these little cutter bee scissors. I love these little scissors. All right, so now I'm gonna cut at an angle and I'm not going all the way to my chipboard. Okay, so you see here, I didn't cut all the way to the chipboard. All right, and the reason why you don't cut all the way to the chipboard is because when you're wrapping your album, you want a little bit of that cardstock to hang, to uh, be left here so it'll cover the edges. All right, so I'm just gonna cut these off. And if you do cut them off, y'all don't, you know, don't stress about it. Nothing homemade is ever perfect. As much as we want it to be, it's not going to be 100% perfect. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add score tape along the edge of my cardstock as well as all on the edges of my chipboard. Okay, so I'm going to add that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've added my score tape, I've went ahead and taken the backing off of each piece, and you see where it's shining there. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my art glitter glue, and I'm just going to go along the edges all the way around. So I'm just going to go right here at the top of my chipboard and right up on that cardstock, all along the top and all in the middle here. Okay, now I'm going to take my bone folder here and I'm going to use the flat end. Okay, so now I'm just going to press that cardstock up against that chipboard and I'm going to pull it down. Alright, now I'm going to take my bone folder and just flatten it out. So I'm just going to press it down and you may have glue come out of the edges here and that's no big deal, don't worry about it. 
All right, I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to do the same thing here. Run a bead of glue at the top of the chipboard and then all up the cardstock. Okay, and all in the middle. Okay, again, I'm going to take the flat end of my bone folder. I'm just going to press that cardstock up against the chipboard. Okay, I'm going to pull it down and flatten it. Okay, take my bone folder, press it down. All right, now for my sides here, I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to press these sides in. All right, what that's going to do is it's going to give you a nice squared off corner. Most of the time it does. I'm not going to say all the time. All right, so now I'm just going to take my glue. Same thing, run a line of glue right up against that chipboard and all on the edge of your cardstock. Okay, bone folder. Press it down. Okay. And again, you may have glue come out. No big deal. Alright, turn it around. Let's do this side. Okay, I've already pressed my corners in. Take my glue. Okay, and all in the middle. Bone folder. Press the cardstock up against that chipboard and lay your cardstock down and press it down really, really well. Take your bone folder, flatten it out. Okay. Now, this is what we have. Okay, so now I'm going to take a piece that is seven and three quarters by eleven. All right, and I'm going to lay it right here, and I'm not going to lay mine down yet because I've got my score tape already, my backing already peeled off. All right, so I'm going to add more score tape to this piece, and I'm also going to add glue. And then I'm going to flip it over because I wrote on this side. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to center it up, and then I'm going to place it down, okay? Okay, so now that I have the inside and the outside of my album covered, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my bone folder. I'm going to take my left hand here and place it underneath my album. All right, I'm just going to burnish and bend at the same time. All right, and you see your crease starts to show here. So just take your crease and press and bend. Okay. Now, you want to turn it around. Do the same thing. Place your hand underneath your album. Press it and bend. All right, there's your crease. So you just want to press down your crease and work it and bend. Okay, so now this is what you have. Ta-da, we have our little album cover. All right, now, what we're gonna do for the binding is I'm gonna do the stack the deck binding, which is right here. All right, and let me write down my measurements on here. Okay, so this piece is one and a half by six and five eighths. Okay, and then this piece is two and a half by six and five eighths. Okay, and your six and five eighths mark is going to be, let me see if I can get it to focus here. All right, six and five eighths is right here between the six and a half and six and three quarters. All right, so six and five eighths by one and a half and six and five eighths by two and a half. Okay, so now I've already added my score tape to the back of both of them. All right. Oh, let me tell you. All right, you need to score a half on each side of each piece. Okay, so you're two and a half by six and five eighths, score to half, rotate, score to half. One and a half by six and five eighths, score to half, rotate, score to half. Okay, now, the easiest way to do this is to take your one and a half piece and place it right on top of your two and a half piece in between those score lines. Okay, so I have a score line here. And a score line here. All right, there you go. See those two score lines? I'm just going to take this piece here and place it right in between those two score lines. All right, so I'm going to glue that down. So I'm just going to peel the backing off of this score tape here. I'm going to take my art glitter glue. All right, I'm just going to run right around and on top of that score tape. 
All right, be sure that you don't go over those score lines. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm going to take my one and a half, place it right in between those score lines there, and I'm going to move it over so I can see it. Now, let me hold it up here. Okay. So when you do this part, y'all, you want to take your time. Make sure you have everything lined up where it needs to be. Okay, when you have it where you want it, press it down. Take your bone folder, burnish it. Okay, now I'm going to take my book and I'm going to place the two and a half piece, which now has our one and a half piece on it, and I'm going to place it right in between those um, seams there. Okay, so here are your seams. Okay, you have a seam here and a seam here. Okay, so the two and a half fits right perfectly in between there. Okay, so again, I'm going to take the score tape off, the backing off of my score tape, not the score tape off. Okay. And then I'm going to take and add my art glitter glue right on top of that score tape. And again, don't go over those score lines. You know, you want to get a little close to them, but just don't go over them. Okay, add your glue all in the middle here, right on top of that score tape. Okay, now, I'm going to take my album, and right here in the center, I'm going to place my binding piece down. Okay, I'm going to move it over here so I can see it. And you just kind of want to eyeball it and line it up. Or you can measure it. I like to eyeball my stuff. Alright. When you have it where you want it. Press it down. Okay. And you see I've got some glue coming out here. That's no big deal. I'm just going to take my fingernail. And wipe it off. You can take your pokey tool. Or you can just leave it on there. Okay. It's going to dry clear anyway. Alright. Now I'm going to take my score lines and just fold them up all right and this is going to give us half inch gussets and there we go now we have our binding system in ta-da easy 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 simple and easy okay so now you can just flatten it out you know better you can take your bone folder flatten them out do them both ways Alrighty, so there we go. Now we have our binding and our album cover already ready. Now, let's work on our pages. Okay, so for our pages, our album is going to be four pages, so you're going to need four pieces that are four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Alright, you're going to need four pieces that are four and three quarters by seven and three quarters. On your seven and three quarter side, you're going to score to half rotate around, score to half. All right, and this is gonna be our page base. Okay, so we need to fold down and burnish those score lines. All right, we're gonna take our glue or whatever adhesive you like. You know, it may be um, wet glue or score tape. You know, use whatever you like. Just add it to the little half inch piece there. I'm gonna take my four and three quarter by six and three quarter piece and lay it right on top. All right, making sure everything is lined up. Okay, I'm gonna press it down. Okay, I'm gonna take my bone folder, burnish back and forth, open it up, press it down. Again, y'all, you may have glue come out. Don't worry about it. All right, now I'm gonna take this other little half inch piece here, add my glue. Okay, now I'm just going to close it up, making sure it's straight, press down, and burnish. Okay, and again, you may have glue come out, just wipe it off. Now we have our little tunnels. Okay, so I've already done my other three, so we have four total. Okay, so for page one, 
All right, I'm going to take one of my page bases here. I'm going to stick my other ones to the side. All right, page one, you're going to need two pieces that are three and a quarter by four and five eighths. All right, you need two of those. On your four and five eighths side, you're going to score it a half, fold down, and burnish. Okay, we're going to do that to both of them. Okay, and then you're going to need two pieces that are three and three quarters by four and an eighth. Okay, on your three and three quarter side, you're going to score it a half. Do that to both of them. Just fold down and burnish. Okay, now I've already cut one of my um, pieces apart. These are the three by four cut aparts. But I'm going to tell you now, they don't measure exactly three by four, okay? So you may have, if you use the same ones that I do, you're going to have to cut them down either at the top or the side, okay? So what I've done is I just picked, you know, some that are almost the same size, and that's how I got these measurements, and that's why I'm going to use these, okay? So I'm going to take my page base, and now the ones with our side flaps, which are the three and three quarters by four and a eight. I'm going to place those on the sides, one on the right, one on the left. Okay, so it's going to look like this. And then I'm going to take the ones with the top flap here, and you'll have one with the bottom flap. So it's the same thing. The three and a quarter by four and five eighths, I'm going to put one at the top, one at the bottom, just like that. All right, so I'm just going to take my art glitter glue, add some glue here on the little half inch piece, on the little half inch flap. Alright, I'm just going to take it to the bottom and to the right hand side. Okay. I'm going to go almost all the way to the bottom here. Yep, all the way to the bottom, all the way to the right. Press it down, open it up, press it down again. Alright, I'm going to take my other one, add my half inch, add my glue to my half inch piece here. All right, now this time I'm going to the left-hand side and to the top. All right, making sure you have it lined up. Okay, then you can press and burnish. Open it up, press it down. All right, now I'm going to take one of my top pieces, top flaps, add my glue. Okay, I'm going to the top and to the right-hand side. Okay, now this time, I'm not going all the way, all the way to the right. All right, I have just a little hair. I'm just a tiny bit away from the edge, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, see here? I'm not even sure if you can see it. I'm just a hair away from the edge there, and that way, the bottom of it will close right. Okay, so don't go completely to the edge. Just go a smidgen over, just a little hair over. All right, I'm going to take and add glue to my next one. All right, now this time I'm going to the left-hand bottom. But again, I'm not going all the way over. I'm going just a hair shy of the edge. Okay. But I'm going all the way to the bottom. All right. I'm going to press it down. Open it up. Press. I got a little bit of glue come out. No big deal. All right, so this is what you have. Okay, you have a little flap on the bottom, one to the right, one on the top, one on the left. Okay, so now you can close it up any way you want to. You know, that's your choice. However you want to close it up now, it's totally up to you. All right, so if you want to add a magnet, go ahead and add your magnet or whatever kind of closure you want to, or you can wait to the end. Just make sure that you add your magnet before you do your design paper, if you're going to use magnets. Okay, so that's page one. I'm just going to stick my little sticky note on there so I know this is page one. I'm going to flip it over. Page two and page three are going to mirror each other, okay? So page two and three, you're going to need, all right, a six and a quarter by eight and a half, all right? On your eight and a half inch side, you're going to score it a half and at five 
Okay, I'm going to fold down and burnish. Now, my score, my little half inch piece is up, so I'm going to take my next score line and I'm going to fold it in. Okay, I'm going to fold down and burnish. So now this is what it looks like. Okay, both of your flaps, your little half inch flap and this flap here are going the same way. All right, so I'm just going to take page two here. I'm just going to add glue to my little half inch piece. Okay, I'm going to the left hand side all the way to the edge. All right, not all the way at the top, not all the way at the bottom. I'm going to have about a quarter of an inch space from the top and the bottom. All right, and again, if you want to measure it out, you're more than welcome to. I like to eyeball my stuff, so I'm not going to be measuring. All right, but see here, you have space here and here as well. Okay, so then this little flap is going to flap in like this. Okay, so that is page two. Now, I want to add a pocket here. The pocket is going to be four by four and a half. Okay. On your four and a half inch side, you're going to score to half, rotate, score to half, rotate, score to half. All right, now I need to cut these two little squares off on the bottom. So I'm just going to take my little scissors here. All right, I'm just going to cut these little squares off. And I like to cut mine at an angle. Okay, so now this is what you have. Okay, you cut two little angles here. So now we're going to fold down and burnish each of those score lines. And if you want to use a decorative punch, go ahead and do that now before you add it in, into your book. All right, and I'm going to use a decorative punch. Let me pick one out. Okay, so I've already punched mine here. All right, and the punch that I've used is a Martha Stewart punch, and I'm not sure of the name of it, but this is what it is. Okay, now I'm just going to take my glue, I'm just going to tack down my little bottom flap here, and this is just something that I like to do, you don't have to do this step, but I like to tack down that bottom side. Okay, now I'm going to take my glue, I'm going to add it to these little half inch flaps here, all three little flaps. Alright, and you want to get as close to the edge as possible, but make sure you don't go over it. Okay, so now, on this little flap here, I'm going to add my pocket. Okay, so I'm going all the way to the bottom, and it's going to fit perfectly. Okay. So now, when you have it where you want it, press it down and burnish. Okay. So now this is what we have. This is page two, okay? So it flips open, and then you have a little pocket here. It's gonna flip open, so you have space here and here for photos, and here as well. All right, so that is page two. Okay, so for, for page three, it's gonna mirror this page. So you're gonna need to take a page base, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna need a six and a quarter by eight and a half on your eight and a half inch side you're going to score it a half and score it five. All right, you're going to fold down and burnish both of your little score lines here. Okay, and again, now your two flaps are going to be going the same way. All right, so this time I'm going to put my flap on the right hand side. So I'm just going to take my glue, add it to my little half inch piece. And now I'm going to the right hand side. Okay, your opening is to the right and to the left. All right, so I'm just going to the right. And again, not all the way at the bottom, not all the way at the top. All right, I'm going to have about a quarter of an inch spacing. Okay, when you have it where you want it, press and burnish. All right, our pocket, four by four and a half. On your four and a half side, you're going to score to half, rotate, score to half, rotate, score to half. All right, we need to cut these two little corners off, our two little squares here. Okay, 
And again, if you're going to use a decorative punch, go ahead and do that. I'm going to fold and burnish first. Okay, and I'm just going to use my punch here. Okay, and I just kind of eyeball it and just kind of center it up. And if you don't have a punch, don't worry about it. Y'all, it's still going to be pretty without a punch. You know, if you have a punch or die or um, corner rounders, you know, use whatever you want to. You don't have to use the same exact thing that I use. Your album is still going to be pretty regardless of what you use. All right, so I'm just going to tack down this little bottom flap here. Okay, I'm going to take my page. I'm going to open it up. So we're going to place our pocket right here on this flap here. All right, so I'm going to take my glue. Add it to these little half inch flaps. Okay, now I'm going all the way to the bottom. Alright, making sure everything is lined up. And I'm going to press and burnish. Alright, so that's it for page three. Okay, we have our flap to the right. Flips back again to the right. We have our little pocket on here. Alright, page three. Now, I'm just going to flip it over. We're going to have page four. Okay, so page four and page five are going to mirror each other. Okay, so now what I need... I thought I wrote it down on one of them. Well, all right, let me write it down real quick. Okay, so page four and page five are gonna mirror each other. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a waterfall on each one. Okay, so you're gonna need eight total. You're gonna need four for page four and four for page five. All right, so you need eight pieces that are four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? On your five and a half inch side, you're going to score to half. All right, fold down and burnish. Okay, and that's going to give us our little flap here. All right, like I said, you're going to need four for page four and four for page five. All right, if you want to round your corners or use a decorative punch, go ahead and do that now. I am going to use a uh, rounder on mine. Okay, so what I've used is I've used the scallop side of my we are memory keepers crocodile corner chomper okay and i used the scallop side and i have went ahead and done all of mine all right so i'm going to take page four i'm going to take my little half inch flap here add my glue okay now i'm going to turn mine sideways so i can see it and I'm just going to go in the middle here, but I'm going all the way to the top. So all the way to the top and in the middle. So you're probably going to have about a quarter of an inch space on both sides. All right. I'm just going to open it up and press that down. Okay, so that's our first flap. Now I'm going to take my next one, fold it down and burnish. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add my glue to my little half inch flap here. All right, now I'm going to butt it up against the one we just placed on. So right here at the bottom of the one we just placed on, I'm going to butt it up right up against that. Again, I'm going to turn mine sideways so I can see it better. Okay. And before you press it all the way down, make sure that they're lined up. Okay, and then press it down. Open it up, press down. All right, I'm going to take another one, add my glue to my little half inch piece here. Okay, same thing, I'm going to butt it up against there. All right, and before I press it down, I want to make sure that they're lined up. Okay. And press it down with my bone folder. Open it up. Press down. Okay. Now this one. Alright. When I fold down and burnish. Okay. 
Okay, instead of adding my glue here, I'm going to open it up here and I'm going to add my glue to the underneath side. Okay, so I'm just going to take my glue. Don't go over that score line. All right, now I'm going to place this one right on top of this one. I'm not going to butt it up against here. I'm going to place it on top of that half inch flap. Okay, so again, I'm turning it my way so I can see. All right, I want to go all the way to that score line. Make sure that it's lined up before I press it down. Okay, when you have it where you want it, press it down. Okay, now I'm going to hold it and then I'm just going to bend it back. All right, I'm going to take my bone folder, press it down. All right, so this is our little waterfall. All right, so we have four little flaps here. And now you don't have that little extra half inch piece there. So whenever you mat this, ah, oh shoot, I should have matted it first because now I'm going to have these little white edges here. So before you place down your waterfall, make sure that you mat this first. Okay, mine's not going to be matted. I'm not going to stress about it. Um, I will mat this part here though. All right, so that is page four. Now page five is going to mirror this one. So that is three and four. So now I'm just going to place this one here. And I'm going to take another page base, opening to the right, opening to the left. All right, I have my four little flaps here. They're already punched out. I've already folded and burnished. Okay, make sure you add your design paper before you add on these flaps. Okay, I'm not going to add my design paper. It'll be perfectly fine but make sure that you add yours on if you don't want to see those two little half inch or a quarter inch pieces on the sides. All right, I'm turning mine sideways so I can see it. Okay, I'm going all the way to the top. I'm gonna have a half, a quarter of an inch, I'm sorry, on both sides. Okay, and you have it where you want it, press it down and burnish. Open it up, burnish it, okay? Take another flap. Well, I thought I had them all pressed and burnished. All right, add your glue. All right, we're gonna butt it up right up against the one we just placed on. Okay, before you press down, make sure they're straight. And you have it where you want it, press it down and burnish. Open it up, burnish it down. All right, take your next one, add your glue to your little half inch piece or score tape, you know, whatever adhesive you like, okay? All right, butt it up, making sure they're straight, okay, then press it down. And burnish okay now for your last one remember I'm not going to add glue to the outside I'm going to add glue to the inside of that little flap okay now I'm just going to place it right on top of that half inch flap and I'm going up to my score line all right, I'm going to close it up, make sure everything is straight. Okay. I'm just going to press and burnish. And I'm just going to hold it down and flip this up. All right, and then burnish it down. Ta-da! There we go. All right, so that is page five. I'm going to write that on here. Page five. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over and we're going to have page six. Page six and page seven are going to mirror each other, and they're going to be the same as page two and three. Okay, so you're going to need six and a quarter by eight and a half. On your eight and a half inch side, you're going to score it a half, score it five, fold down your score line and burnish. All right, take your next flap, fold it up, burnish it down. Okay. Now, I need this to go to the left-hand side. All right, so this is page six, so our flap is going to the left. 
all right and again don't go all the way to the top or the bottom you're going to have about a quarter of an inch from the top and the bottom okay you want to go all the way to the to the edge though all the way to the left hand side all right now open it up press it down okay now i want to add my pocket here on this little piece so i need a four by four and a half all right on your four and a half side you're going to score to half rotate score to half rotate score to half we're going to cut these two little squares here off okay and again i'm cutting mine at an angle all right i'm going to fold down and burnish those score lines I'm also going to use my decorative punch and again y'all I'm just kind of eyeballing it and I probably should have had all of this done beforehand but that's okay some of you like to see every little thing that I do and I don't mind all right so I'm just going to tack down these uh, this little bottom flap here okay now I'm gonna add my glue to the three little half inch sides little flaps here all right now I'm gonna take it right on top of this little flap here all the way at the bottom Alrighty. Now, I'm going to burnish it down. And there you go. Alright, so that is page 6. Alright, page 7 is going to mirror that. So I'm going to take a page base, opening to the right, opening to the left. Alright, 6 and a quarter by 8 and a half. On your 8 and a half, you're going to score it a half and at 5. All right, we're going to fold down and burnish, flip it over, flip this one in, burnish it down. All right, now this time we're going to the left hand side, to the right hand side. Okay, page seven, we're going to the right hand side with our little flap here. All right, so again, all the way to the right, but not the top and bottom. We're going to have a quarter of an inch from the top and a quarter of an inch from the bottom about a quarter of an inch I'm not going to say it is perfectly a quarter of an inch because it may not be all right now I need my little pocket here on this little flap that's a four by four and a half on your four and a half side you're going to score to half rotate score to half rotate score to half cut off these little squares here Fold them down and burnish. Okay. Now I'm going to use, all right, I got a little tail hanging here. See this little teeny tiny piece here? I call that a tail. I don't like those. Cut it off. All right. I'm going to take my punch. I'm going to punch this out really quick. And y'all, I'm trying to rush so the video isn't too long. But I'm also trying to make sure that you see every little thing that I'm doing here. Alright, so I'm going to take my glue, take down this little bottom flap. Alright, I'm going to take my glue and add to all three little flaps here. Now, I'm going to take my little flap, go all the way to the bottom. All right, my 
making sure everything is lined up. Press it down and burnish. Ta-da! Alright, so that is page 7. Now we're going to flip it over to page 8. Okay? Let me get up this little mess here. That'll drive me crazy. Alright, so page 8 is going to be the same as page 1. Okay, so you're going to have... Look here, I didn't write them down on here either. Hold on. Okay, so you're going to need two pieces that are 3 and 3 quarters by 4 and an eighth. On your three and three quarter side, you're going to score to half. All right, you're going to do that to both of them. So I'm going to fold down and burnish each of these. And if you want to use a rounder or a punch, whatever, go right ahead and do that. All right, and then I need two pieces that are three and a quarter by four and five eighths. On your four and five eighths side, you're going to score to half. All right, so do that to both of these. Okay. Now, I'm going to take one of my three and three quarters by four and an eighth. And I'm going to take page one here because I want it to be the same. All right, so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to the left hand side all the way at the top. All right, so I'm going to add my glue. All right, so I'm going to the left all the way to the top here all right making sure everything is straight I'm gonna press it down okay now I'm gonna take the other piece that is three and three quarters by four and an eighth and I'm going to the bottom right hand side okay add your glue all right bottom right All right, when you have it lined up, press down and burnish. Okay, now I'm going to take a three and a quarter by four and five eighths. I'm going to the top right hand side, but I'm not going all the way to the right. I'm going to go about a hair over. All right, I'm going to add my glue. All right, I'm going to turn it now so I can see it. Okay, I want to make sure it's all the way at the top, but not completely on the edge. Alright, and again, the reason for that is so this will close down if I want this one to be on top. Alright, so then my last piece that is three and a quarter by four and five eighths. I'm going to add my glue. Okay, and I'm going to the bottom left, but not all the way to the left. All the way to the bottom yes all the way to the left no just a hair over okay now when you have it where you want it press it down and burnish alrighty so now this is what you have and again you can fold it however you want to um, that is totally your choice all right so that is page eight okay so now what I'm gonna do I'm just going to stick my pages here to the side because that is our four pages. All right, I'm going to take my album here. I'm going to add score tape to both sides of these little half inch flaps here. All right, so I'm going to add my score tape and then I'm going to add my pages in. So let me add my score tape and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've added score tape to both sides here. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here on the back flap. Okay, so I'm just going to take my little pokey tool here, peel the score tape off of one side. Alright, now I'm just going to add some art glitter glue right on top of that score tape. Okay, now I have my pages in order here, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, eight I'm going to put in first. Alright, and so I have it labeled, so I know eight is on the back side. Okay, so I'm going to open up my tunnel. Page 8 is on the back. Alright, so I just have my tunnel open. I'm just going to slide it right over that little half inch flap there, my little binding piece. Okay, before I press it all the way down, alright, I want to lay this down flat. And I'm checking to make sure 
that it is straight. Okay, and then when you have it where you want it, just press down. All right, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to press and burnish. Okay, now I'm going to close this back. I'm going to flip it over. All right, I'm going to take my pokey tool here, and now I'm just going to hold this page up. See here, I'm just going to hold this up. I'm just going to take my pokey tool and dig the backing off of that score tape. I'm just going to peel it off. Take my glue. Just run some glue up in there. Okay. Now I'm just going to lay that down. Press that down. Alright, I'm going to open this up. That way I can press down with my bone folder here. Alright. Now. I'm just going to close this back. Okay. So now we have our first page in. Alright, so we know this is 8. This is 7. So now I need 6. So I need the one to mirror this one. Okay, so this is six. All right, again, I'm just going to open it up here. Okay, I'm going to take the backing off of this little score tape. I'm going to add my glue right on top of that score tape. All right, let me open up my little tunnel again here. See my tunnel's opened up? All right, so I'm just going to slide it over. And before I press it down now, I'm going to lay it down. Make sure it's straight with this one. Okay, when you have it where you want it, press it down. So you can open up your little flaps here. And press it down. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over. I'm just going to hold this up. Take my pokey tool, dig that backing off. All right, run my glue up in here. Press it down. Okay. And there you have it. All right, so I'm going to do my next two pages the same way. All right, so I have five, so I need four to mirror page five. So I'm just going to take the backing off. Add my glue right on top of that score tape. Okay, now I'm going to open it up. All right, there's my tunnel. I'm just going to hold this down a little bit, place it right over. Okay, again, before I press it down, now I'm going to make sure that it's lined up with the page I just put on. Okay, when you have it where you want it, press it down. Okay, I'm going to open it up, take my bone folder, all right, flip it over, hold that little page open there, peel that backing off, run the glue up in there, more okay so again this is page three so I need page two to mirror I'm going to peel the backing off add my glue okay just going to open it up all right I'm going to move my little sticky note over here so it'll hold that together Okay, now I'm just going to hold it down with my nails, with my fingers here. All right, slide a page right over top of it. And again, before you press down, now make sure that they're lined up. Okay, when you have them where you want them, press it down. All right, now I'm just going to open this up so I can press it down there. And there you have it. I'm going to flip it over. Okay, I'm going to hold it up. Grab the backing there. 
take my glue right up in there press it down that's it y'all how super quick and easy was this album all right I'm just gonna press that down okay Ta-da! now we have our pages in okay now the front and the back are gonna be the same okay so for the front and the back we're going to need we're gonna make pockets here with a cover with a flap I mean okay so now you're gonna take a piece that is five and three quarters by five and three quarters all right you're gonna score to half rotate score to half rotate score to half all right we're gonna cut off these little squares here at the bottom and again I like to angle mine okay now I'm gonna fold down and burnish each of my score lines okay now I'm gonna take my frame punch here all right and if you don't have this don't worry about it you don't have to make this a frame okay I'm just making mine a frame you don't have to do this if you don't want to all right I want a quarter of an inch um, frame so I've already got it set here to a quarter of an inch okay now I'm gonna take it with it folded up I'm gonna place it up in here press all right I'm gonna turn it okay punch now on the bottom again I have my little pieces here so I'm just gonna take it and punch Okay, I'm going to turn it, making sure it's in there, and punch, okay? Now, oh, come on, turn loose now. Uh-oh. I don't want to jerk it out, because if I do, it'll tear it. All right, see, it messed it up just a little bit, but that's okay. All right, now, what I'm going to do, maybe I need to glue this down. All right. I'm going to do this very carefully. Okay, I'm going to open this one up. All right, I'm just going to cut it just like this. I'm going to cut from here to here. Okay, and again, I already have it set. I'm just going to turn it. You see I have that piece come off. Maybe I should have done it at half of an inch. We're going to find out, aren't we? Okay. I'm going to turn it. And like I said, y'all, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. Or if you have, you know, um, a knife, you can do it with that. You don't have to have a cutter here. Okay, now I'm going to open these up and fold this one in. And we're going to cut this one off. Ta-da! Now this is what I have. Alright, and you see this is pretty thin here. Okay, so now I'm going to take and I'm going to add my acetate on the inside here. Okay. So I'm going to do that off camera because it may take me a minute to do that. But I'm just going to add score tape on the inside here. Then I'm going to put my acetate on. Alright, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've went ahead and added my acetate here. And I apologize for the glare. Alright, but first, I need to put a piece of design paper here. Okay, so I've already cut mine to size. So I'm going to take... And add my design paper down but let me tell you this I'm not going to glue it here at the top okay I'm only gonna glue you know almost all of it I tell you what let me make that easier I'm gonna take my little top piece here which is two and a half by four and three quarters on your two and a half inch side you're gonna score it a half okay so fold down and burnish okay 
and if you want to use a decorative punch go ahead and do that again I'm going to use the scallop for mine okay now what I'm going to do let's see here yep I'm just going to glue this onto my design paper okay so I'm going to take my design paper here I'm just going to take this little piece add it right on top of here I'm going to line it up okay now I'm just going to flip it over making sure I have it straight making sure you know everything is straight here okay but I hope you can see what I'm doing here all right I'm just going to take and add some glue here I'm going to hold this down really tight here all right I'm just going to add my glue to my little half inch piece all right and I'm holding my design paper and I'm just going to glue that little half inch piece right onto the design paper so now we have a flap on our design piece okay now I'm going to add it to my book here so now I'm just going to take add my glue right on top of that little half inch flap up there and all over my design paper okay I'm just going to take it and place it in the album all right so now you kind of want to take your time here and line it up to where you want it all right making sure that you don't go over that seam there okay now when I have it what I want to consider is straight may not be perfectly straight but it is straight to me okay I'm just going to burnish down that design paper all right now we already have our flap on so now all we need to do now is add our pocket okay so I'm going to take and I've already tacked down the bottom here all right now I apologize for the glare y'all because you're going to see a glare okay but I'm just going to take and add I'm going to turn it sideways maybe you won't see it I'm going to add my glue to this little quarter inch piece here on all three sides All right, I got a little too close to the edge there, so I'm just going to wipe that off. Okay. And now I'm going to add it to the bottom. Right over top of that design paper. And I'm getting a little quiet here because I need to make sure I get this right. Alrighty. I'm going to take my bone folder. I'm just going to press it down. And now we have our little pocket with our flap. How cute. I apologize for the glare. Sorry, sorry. Alright, but there you go. Okay. We have our flap and our little pocket here. Ta -da. all right so if you want to you can do the same exact thing here at the back I'm not gonna do the acetate pocket because I want to show you you know what it looks like without an acetate pocket and it's still gonna be pretty all right so I have my five and three quarters by five and three quarters I've scored a half on all three sides I've already punched them out or cut out my little bottoms here and now I'm going to take it I'm going to tack down this bottom flap. Now, y'all, if you want to do the frame on the front and the back, you go right ahead. Okay, but I just want to show you what it's going to look like, even if you don't do the frame. You know, if you don't have that punch board, don't worry about it. Y'all, don't stress and run out and try to buy it, um, unless you want to now. But I just want to show you what it's going to look like without it. Okay, so I'm going to take and I'm going to add my glue here and if you want to use a decorative punch go right ahead I'm not going to use any punch at all on this one just to show you but you don't have to have all these fancy punches or dies or anything like that okay now I'm going to take it and I'm just going to center it up to where I want it okay I'm going to press it down 
and I'm going to burnish. Okay, now I'm going to take my little top here, my little flap that is two and a half by four and three quarters. On the two and a half inch side, you're going to score it a half, roll down and burnish. Okay, now this one I am going to do my little scallop punch just so it kind of matches with the front. All right, I'm going to add my glue to my little half inch flap. All right, now I'm going to take it and I'm going to leave this closed so I can see here. All right, but I want this to go and I'm going to turn it sideways so I can see. I know it's kind of hard to see white on white, but I'm going to take it and I'm just going to carefully make sure it's lined up and have it at the top where I want it. Press it down and burnish. Okay, open it up, press it down and burnish. All right, and the reason I did not add my design paper first to this one is because I'm only going to need a smaller piece here. I don't need a whole complete full piece when all I need is just to cover up this. All right, so that's it, y'all. So, so, so super simple. So super cute. Look, with the acetate pocket, without the acetate, but it's still a pocket. And we have our... Um, four pages here and that's it how cute how simple look there we're gonna have plenty of space to add our design paper as well as pictures okay now if you want to um add seam binding a seam binding closure you want to go ahead and do that now so you want to go ahead and add your seam binding here as well as here on the back all right and I haven't quite decided yet on what colors I'm going to be putting on my seam binding um or my design for the front here so whenever I decide all that then I'll do mine but make sure that you add your seam binding before your design paper if you use seam binding for your closure all right make sure that you use if you use magnets make sure you add your magnets before you add your design paper okay and that's it y'all look how super cute this album is all right and anyway this is a country craft creations design team project and I hope everyone enjoyed this project and this album. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And this will be my last project before Christmas. So, you will see this on maybe, um, let's see here, maybe Sunday or Monday. So, it'll be Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. And I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so, so much. And I hope everyone has a wonderful and happy holidays. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.